Here we are, Vlog 112. Hey everybody, it's me, Jaime, the shutting cartoonist musician, vlogcasting from the Conan Tortilla Press World Headquarters in the San Francisco Bay Area. On my umpteenth glass of water, which I'm going to set down, I uh, already drank my coffee early this morning, both both cups. I'm going to head out today. I'm going to go out and take uh, my frame set and my bicycle out to uh, West Marin and get that set up and then I got to get back I got to get I mean get that taken care of because I got to get back to get on the drawing table I have stuff to do but all of it's piling up um, as you all know here on this this vlog cast I do and even here at 112 I generally you know talk about cartooning and what it means to me the influences other people's comics I like uh, my comics which sometimes I like the other thing is music. Music is highly important to me. I will go on the limb here and say I actually like music better than comics. I really do. If I had to pick, it kind of edges it out. But neither here nor I love them both. It's like trying to have a favorite child if you have multiple kids. It doesn't really work. But, um, and I've, you know, show you music that's influenced me or music I think you should hear and all that kind of stuff. Well, the other thing I really love is film. I love movies, um, documentaries, uh, science fiction, comedies, <coughs> excuse me, dramas, name it. I love them. Hollywood, uh, art theater, small films, short films, films that climb on rocks, tough films, sissy films, even films with chicken pox. Anyway, I like films. And um, I know a lot of you out there do too. I mean, I can rattle off a list of my friends like... Uh, um, <laughs> it's like um um uh francis kohler man there's there's a movie dude right there who also makes films on occasion he knows his stuff francis is big time into it ricardo padilla but i love our conversations rico's really into some films man and we go back and forth um when i was a small kid you know into grade school um my friend since i was 10 years old avery burns him and I would go to movies together, and this other kid that lived with us around us for a while, a couple of years, John Hurst, and us three used to frequent, you know, movies as they came out. That we weren't, you know, today you wouldn't be allowed to see unless you had a parent with you. We saw, as ten-year-olds, we saw the Omega Man, we saw James Bond films, we saw whatever spaghetti western came out that camera. I think Fistful of Dollars. Um, you name. It. Uh, oh, I remember seeing Magnum Force or Dirty Harry, one of them. You know, with those guys. Um, <laughs> of course, all the other ones, the obligatory uh, Planet of the Apes films and all that. But neither here did I digress. And Avery and I, uh, I loved hanging out at his house a lot because both his parents were Bohemians. And this was a blue-collar, heavily Catholic neighborhood where, you know, parents were pretty conservative. Um, I was in a single-parent household, so my mom was pretty much not even there. I mean, she was so busy working and holding down the fort that, like, you know, there was no influence in that regard so she liked her movies but I mean I kind of hung out with Avery and his parents would watch this show that came on on public TV it had already been on apparently back east for a while and then they streamlined it to public TV and it was either called at the movies or sneak preview with Siskel and Ebert and that's right Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert and I loved that show and I over the years even in, I remember going to see Peshot uh, a foreign film that was pretty gritty because uh, of their recommendation, you know, and I actually went down to the art theater or whatever it was in Sacramento at that time. Um, I was probably a teenager then. Anyway, though, I digress. So I'm going to talk about some movies every now and then. And now that we're almost four minutes into this, <laughs> the movie I'd like to talk about is the 19, in my opinion, classic, 1965 classic, a black and white film. I think it's from MGM, and it stars uh, Jason Robards and Barbara Harris, along with Martin Balsam and uh, introducing Barry Gordon as the nephew Nick, and that is, of course, A Thousand Clowns. I love this movie. It's really cool. Like I said, it's it's uh, mid-60s, takes place in New York City, black and white, and Murray Burns, played by Jason Robards, is the uncle to Barry Gordon, who plays Nick, and they live together in this little one-room apartment in New York City. And then the, the um, I don't know what they call them, social services, whatever, social workers, played by Barbara Harrison, this other actor, I can't remember his name, uh, he's a character actor. He's really good. Uh, come in to check out Nick's life because they're threatening to have him taken away because Murray doesn't have a job. Now, Murray is a successful comedy writer, 
but he doesn't really want to have a job. And he finally feels forced that he has to go out and look for one. But every time he gets a connect to, you know, get that writer's job, he somehow self-sabotages it. Because here's where I kind of feel with him, too. Murray doesn't want to work. And I don't know many people that do. Some people say they do, they're lying. The other ones are just, you know, it's that whole, I don't know what it is, Puritan work ethic thing. And it's good to have a work ethic. I got one, as much as I hate to admit it. But if I had my druthers, I'd rather not work. Because there's a thousand and one other things, get it? A thousand other things I can do, you know, with my time. And this is one of them, actually. Great movie. Uh, it, it's fun to go through. It's shot in a kind of artsy way. They're trying to be artsy in 1965 with interesting edits and so forth with music and, and montages and stuff. But it's actually a really heartwarming story. And it makes you think. It's, it's about the rat race. I love to quote my son, which I know he got the quote elsewhere. But, you know, it takes a rat to win the rat race. But anyway, it, it's just a really good piece if you could see that. So, A Thousand Clowns. Do yourself a favor. If you haven't seen it, go out and see it. If you have seen it, revisit it. It's a really good one. So hopefully I can bring some movies to you every now and then. Oh boy, this has been six minutes of your life with me yammering about things like that. But like I said, today I'm going to head out. I'm uh, going to go get the bike done. i got to come back and work. Uh, for those of you that are going to go out, like myself, be sure to mask up like I will do. Be sure to sanitize your hands and wash them frequently, as well as keep your distance from folks. Um, be sure to subscribe down below, and I'll throw my website on there in case anyone's interested. And the last and most important thing is be kind to yourself and be kind to others. It's important. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Thanks.